Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're Everyday CNAs. This month is filled with things to celebrate and honor. Uh, from the World Social Worker Day, Red Cross Day, to even Women's History Month. In fact, it's National Goof Off Day. It's a day <laughs> to relax and do something fun. Just don't get yourself into trouble. <laughs> We're going to have to find something to goof off on our way home, but for now it's all business. That's right. <laughs> business it is. We celebrate and honor National so Social Worker Day. The role they play in their communities are very, very important. You can find them in schools, child welfare, and human service agencies, as well as in medical facilities. Yes. I imagine with this pandemic, they're having a hard time dealing oh, with yeah. everything as well. Well, they advocate for their clients, making sure they have access to resources needed to improve their lives. Mm -hmm. Social workers also respond to crisis situations. We can only imagine the heartache they have seen with their communities during this virus. If you see or know a social worker, give them a shout out. Like we have great social workers and we're, we've changed social workers. We had one retire, but we mm -hmm. have a new one and our social workers just amazing. You know, they're amazing yeah. at home. Um, actually, I always like to talk to Leanne. Mm -hmm. um, I could always go to her if there was a problem with one of um, the residents and everything. Yes. And I mean, they're, they're great. We also have um, Angie Martin. Yes. That's there. Um, she really screens a lot of the veterans oh, yeah. coming into she's the facility wonderful. and she's a good person to reach out yes. to in case something didn't get charted down yes. or anything. And um, just, I mean, take the time and um, reach out to them. They are a big, big help, um, especially when it comes to if you notice a resident is needing certain personal items, you can go to them and they can contact the family uh, member as well for you. Oh, yes. The next day we're gonna celebrate and honor is Red Cross Day. And something that I noticed when we were doing the research for this was, it is estimated every six to eight minutes, American Red Cross is called into action to bring calm to people in need. And President Roosevelt um, declared March as Red Cross Day in 1943 and wow. continues today. I cannot believe this organization has been around for that long. Yeah, that's great. Red Cross salute all volunteers and their employees during this time as well for making a difference worldwide. Some of the things Red Cross does beside the ringing of the bells include donating blood, they help during disaster, also military and their families, CPR classes, and more information about them, you can go to redcross.org, and they'll tell you a lot of, they do a lot of things A lot of for things them. for around the community. Yes. And the last one we will be celebrating um, this March is Wool William, oh, Women's History Month. We celebrate this all month long uh, with women from all over the world, mm -hmm. and the first history that I could find of this special moment was actually held in February the 28th in 1909 in New wow. York City. 15,000 women marched to protest over poor working conditions. Um, the employees were only making $15 a week. Oh, wow. And this was with young women and teen girls. In 1911, the factory burned, however, and 145 workers were killed, finally causing lawmakers to pass legislation to pass and protect uh, the factory workers. Wow. So that's, it's kind of a, a big achievement, but also um, it's kind of sadness that goes along with that. And other facts about women's history, in 1980, President Carter declared the week of March the 8th would be the date. However, by 1986, 14 states declared the whole month would be celebrated. 
since 1995, every president has issued the same proclamation. And which is awesome. And that's wonderful. That's when mm -hmm. I was born in 1980. Well, <laughs> hey, that's pretty good then, isn't it? 42% of women face gender discrimination at work. And have you ever heard of motherhood penalty? No. I never either until no. doing this research. It's where a woman makes less money after becoming a mother to where a man would make more money after becoming a father. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is that one of that because the women stay at home? I'm not really for sure because when I went back to try to get like more information yeah. so we can discuss it, there wasn't any. Oh, okay. So we not have really to try for to look sure. Up something mm -hmm. to see. Exactly. The 19th Amendment granted women the right to vote in 1920, but other laws prohibited Native American women, black women as well, Asian and Latin women from voting. So they kept everybody from everybody uh, from voting. And did you know that women could not own their own credit card until 1974 when Congress passed the Equal Credit Opportunity Act? Speaking of credit card, they should stop it now. <laughs> <laughs> they should stop it now because I don't need one, okay? So it's, it's like, you know, a woman could not get a credit card without their husband's approval. <laughs> and sometimes it's kind of like it should be the other way around. Well, yeah, nowadays neither one should have one. Exactly. June 8, 1983, the first woman in space. In 2020, we have the first woman vice president. Yeah, we've come a long way. Yes, we have. A long way. Um, before LaShondra and I um, say goodbye, we want to leave you with a message from President Carter. The date was 1980, and he stated, from the first settlers who came to our shores, from the first American Indian families who befriended them, men and women have worked together to build this nation. You know, too often the women were unnoticed. But the achievements, leadership, courage, strength, and love of the woman who built America was a vital as it's part of the men whose names we know so well. Yeah, and so I really was, like that statement. Yes. In fact, when you read the part of achievement and leadership and courage and strength and love, two names <laughs> keep <laughs> popping up in my mind, yes. and that is Lori Porter and Lisa Sweet. You know, they're the pioneers of NACA, the yes. National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. And Lori and Lisa, if you are watching this show, we salute you. Thank you for your hard work and dedication over the past 26 years you have given to our profession. Yes, we, we thank you so much. Yes, women like you set the tone for all men and women. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts because without you, um, no telling where we would be without the encouragement about to go every day. Yeah. I mean, it's awesome. Yes. So take this month to celebrate and come back next week. Stay safe and strong.